What? Who what? are you? Who am I? I don't know. Who are you? Who am I? <laughs> <laughs> Man. This game's gonna be so fucking cool. What's so good I about Resident Evil 8? What, you bitch. <laughs> Actually, Havel, uh, uh, one of the characters in this, actually, the, the guy that's dragging you in, in this bit of the trailer, he looks like he's straight out of fucking Bloodborne. Man's carrying, oh. like, what's that? I'm bet, yeah. Yeah, like, he, he just looks like fucking Garman almost. <laughs> he's taking it to the hunter's dream, dude. <laughs> like, look at the weapon he has. What the fuck is that? That that's definitely a weapon, right? Also, they're I I love the RE engine, by the way, that they've been using for like the past like couple games since RE7. That that thing's it's what that thing's fucking amazing. Just name one good thing about Resident Evil Snorfest. Havel, literally, are you even looking at the stream right now? No. You bitch! I'm gonna kill you. Well, go to your computer, slut. I'm not bringing half of food upstairs. What? Wait, how much food did you even order? Jesus. I... I food, food. How much, though? <laughs> A meal? Just... just... okay. <laughs> Wait... <laughs> Wait <laughs> I don't know. You just said a meal, but I don't know what a meal implies. <laughs> If it's just like McDonald's, what is a meal not supposed to imply? I I don't know if you mean like you just got like a shit ton of food and you're calling it a meal, <laughs> or if you just got like a meal. The only extra thing I get aside from the meal is an extra fry. Okay, that's fine. Havel, I want you to be healthy. Are you lying? <laughs> Actually, no. <laughs> just eating at McDonald's isn't healthy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm going for the super size me challenge. Oh god, have you- did you see that fucking movie called Super Size Me? Yeah, I have. They- that they forced you watch- to watch in fucking middle yeah. school or something? Yep. What the fuck? I remember there was, like, one part where he's, like, getting, like, checked by the doctors, and it just shows him, like, on his side, fucking asshole, like, pretty much fucking spread for the camera. And it's like, what the fuck? Dude, it's part of the show. Why they had to show that though? This is what happens when you eat at McDonald's. <laughs> you get fingered by a doctor? What happens when you need a prostate exam? I'll get one and I won't like it. <laughs> I mean, he's gonna finger your asshole. So, I mean, <laughs> you can't really escape it. One of these days, you're gonna get fingered by your doctor. <laughs> oh, I, and I accept that inevitability. <laughs> I. <laughs> oh my fucking god I, you, you're not causing pain but you're hurting <laughs> wait a minute okay this is a long shot so the fact that she says little brother makes me think that this might be Zoe okay so what what I'm what I'm thinking about with like with these people right here like these these must be like some kind of survivors right and I I know I'm not doing art right now but fucking whatever I I I I just want to fucking talk about this game until I die until or until the game comes out uh this looks like they're survivors and this little area you're in seems to be like at least a somewhat safe area like quote unquote safe because you know that I'm pretty sure there's a line where they say like nothing is safe but I'm gonna assume this is like gonna be some kind of hub area like the rest of the game will have almost like metroidvania like like ex exploration but in like first person obviously which no one left. if that if if this game is like that or like how I'm expecting it this game is going to be just fucking awesome that sounds like Mia, almost, but I'm not 100%. <sighs> fucking, I know exactly what this is. 
uh, this this bit that we saw at the beginning where we're like, what? Chris is in this? That's weird. But it's not weird because he Chris was at, at the very end of RE7 for like a couple seconds and he had his own DLC in RE7. My guess is right here is where Mia is killed. Which is it's, it's weird that they did that in the trailer. I, I I wouldn't have put that in the trailer because like it'd be like a, a fucking shock. Like what? Ooh. Oh, they're gonna be bringing back like treasures and shit just because there's a merchant. Uh hold on, let me see. I'm hold on, sorry. This stuff. Okay, this is this is also a stretch, but do you think killing like certain animals will give you like m like parts or something like that maybe cuz like in RE4 there's like only there's a few animals you can kill you get like chicken eggs and and uh and like fish like and shit like that what actually that's like all you get in in terms of animals you could get snake eggs but they're just you know just, they're just chicken egg drops this guy hold on this guy looks fucking cool hold on actually is he blind he looks okay he, he's wearing those like weird glasses god fuck this i i'm i'm not doing art today i i need to ju i need to just talk about fucking resident evil because are we really doing this? We're doing this, motherfucker. I, I want to get everything I have to say about this goddamn game out of my brain. <laughs> Are we actually really doing this? Yes! I, I love this this guy, by the way. He, he I, I was talking to Havel, like, a couple minutes ago, and I was saying he looks like he's straight out of Bloodborne. Look at that! Look how fucking cool that looks! God damn it, man. I feel like this is going to be another Las Plagas, but not Las Plagas, you know? Because, like, obviously there's fucking some kind of mind control going on. Because, you know, there's this. But there's also people who are, like, vampires and shit. So it's a weird, quote-unquote, vampire werewolf cult thing. It's, it's definitely not, like, actual... Yeah, okay. <laughs> she, she really doesn't look that... She really doesn't look that pretty. <laughs> she, this actually looks like fucking... I, I don't like that at all. That, that's just kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> Wait, fuck. Am I just spoiling the game by, like, looking over the fucking trailer? <laughs> this looks like the hub area, or whatever you would call it, uh, is going to get attacked at some point. And then, you know... You escape and unless that's just early on in the game and there is no hub hold the phone do we know who let the re uh village virus thing out we don't we know nothing really about the the actual virus but i did notice something notice uh this thing this thing right here vii wait which one's that Seven? Oh, uh, <sighs> what was Seven's virus? Oh, wait, Seven's virus wasn't like purposefully released. RE Seven's virus was an accident, from what I remember. Uh, like some kind of pharmaceutical company had had like th this mold thing, and yeah, it it is the girl. Yeah, the girl. Yeah, she. Yeah, she wasn't supposed to get out. That's that's the thing with RE7. She she was supposed to be like kept under like lock and key. She wasn't supposed to get out, but then the uh the boat crashed in like Louisiana or something. I don't know how the fuck it got into a swamp in Louisiana. That part I never really got. Uh interesting thing I just noticed right now. Whatever this thing is is moving. And that that thing back there is alive. So <sighs> Hold on. What? Oh, that's a person. See, like, there's there's hands, face, wings. Is this is this gonna be like a like this game Saddler? Oh, do you know what's gonna be? It. Oh, they're gonna take they're. If this is right, they're definitely taking a lot of stuff from Resident Evil Four and like just kind of 
twisting the ideas into something different. Uh, I'm gonna guess this is like some kind of religious vi figurehead like Sadler was in RE4. And like the whole like werewolf and vampire like virus thing is probably gonna be like like that that's gonna be like the basis of the cult and oh god they're gonna they're gonna eh, this game's gonna be so fucking cool okay you know what maybe maybe like uh, i might be wrong i think i'm wrong about uh lady dimitrescu being uh the final boss i'm thinking that thing's gonna be the final boss like that's that's gonna be like the big bad or whoever that is if it's a person even you you're probably just like mendez you're probably just a pawn in all this all this weird shit that's going on also god the enemy designs in this look really fucking cool like uh, actually hold on uh hold on this fucking guy uh you can he he looks cool hi havel Sorry, I'm I'm talking lore stuff with JW. Nice. Oh. Uh, hold on. Oh no. Oh n wait. Wait a minute. Oh no, I'm gonna ha have a I'm gonna have a fucking panic attack at what I'm looking at right now. No. What? No, Why? dude. No. <laughs> Is this the logo number two? No, no, that that's not. I'm not looking at fucking Delago number two, am I? This isn't the no, no, no. You don't want Delago number two? Havel, I'm seeing a boat and a giant fish. <laughs> no, that better not be fucking Delago two. I'm uh, or crocodile? Are you sure? Oh wait, was that a leg? I, I don't know. You don't. We don't really get that. We don't really get that good of a a look. It has a fin. Ah, I don't know. Well, well, whatever the fuck it is, we're gonna have to fight it. I know we are. And it's gonna be- it, I hope it's not a fucking bitch like Delago was. If they don't make the fight RNG, that's fine. <laughs> if there's like one solid, like, perfect way to do it. Oh. But there's a 1% chance your boat capsizes for no reason. <laughs> like brawl fucking trips. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's dumb. Um, you have three seconds to get back in your boat or else you instantly die. But yeah, JW, uh, I was saying before you came in here earlier too, uh, Ethan saying Chris Y, like at this point right here, uh, is probably where Mia dies. All, all the information we know right now about Chris and Ethan's, like, relationship is that Chris killed Mia and Ethan's not very happy about it because that's his actual fucking wife, but, you know. I love him. I, I love the merchant so much. <laughs> He's fucking goofy. God, you can, you can see, like, the rings don't fit on his fingers and shit. Oh my god, that's so funny. Oh, okay. Oh, what the fuck? That's Mia. Whoa, wait a minute. What is Mia holding? <sighs> That's how you hold a kid. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. That's fucked up. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. This gets fucking dark. Do you... Th what? I'm guessing the kid is dead, too. The thing I was trying to say is... I th think Chris fucking kills Mia and his kid. Tyler that or he has a kid hostage. Well, no, what I'm looking right at right now looks like, uh, some kind of dream sequence, which actually it hasn't been done in Resident Evil before. They've done like VHS sequences and things like that, or, unless it's like a flashback or something. Also, well, Mia just looks like she's in like pajamas. <laughs> like she looks like she's not supposed to be out here, but she is. Hold on. Let's, we're, we're looking up, uh. We're, we're looking up the other trailer, too. Oh, yeah, actually, hold on. There's another thing. Uh, this... This thing... This... This trailer starts with his story comes to a close. I'm thinking Maybe Ethan... Chris's What's that? Maybe Chris's story comes to a close? If it's Chris's story, that's a fucking bold move. I... Because... I mean, kill him off. 
but like he he's been a main character since the first fucking game like yeah but i mean he seems to have gone completely ape shit so i it, mean honestly it i'm i wouldn't be surprised well actually yeah he definitely has gone ape shit after actually after the events of re6 like i'd be i wouldn't i'm not surprised he went ape shit <laughs> fucking uh he blames himself for the like failure of all of his fucking teams that die like and because he's always the captain and everyone always fucking dies <sighs> if Chris, Maybe Leon's story comes to an end. I, if Leon's in this fucking game, I wonder if it's a fake out. I'm thinking that Ethan's probably gonna die. I'm thinking they want to just like they they didn't want Ethan to just be in one game and that be it because it wouldn't make much sense to just like play as a different character all of a sudden that's like not related to anything and. And then, you know, just toss him to the side in RE8. Um, I, I think they just want to... It's much more likely... Chris is much more likely to die? Really? I don't think so. It's, it's hard to tell at this point. Uh, when am I going to start playing? Uh, I'll, I'll be playing the demo when it comes out on Steam on May 1st. Uh, his story comes to the close. Who had the longest story here? Well... Of course it's Chris. I, I I don't know. I I feel like I feel like just wrapping up what happens with Ethan like is it, it is what they want to do or what they should want to do to continue the the Resident Evil like lore that they they've building they're building upon. Um although yeah, maybe maybe Chris has had his share. It's too quick. They're gonna keep Ethan around as a new character, new style, new character. Huh? I don't know. I, 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 it, 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 it's this is this is gonna be a old fucking wild game. I I know it for a fact. Like, man. But yeah. Uh. Any anyway. Uh. To answer your question. Uh, Danny Korn. I'll, I'll be playing May 1st. Uh, as soon as the Steam demo comes out, I, I'm, I don't have a PS5, so... Uh, there's that. You don't have a PS5? <laughs> of course I don't. <laughs> Those things are fucking expensive. <laughs> but yeah, uh, as soon as this game comes out on Steam on the 7th, I think, the 7th, uh, I'm gonna be playing it day one as soon as it drops. Even if it's in the middle of the fucking night. If it's, like, midnight, I am playing this. <laughs> But I, I don't care. I, I am so excited for this game. It's not even funny. If you remember me talking about uh, this shot before and how I said, like, this is probably the main bad guy and not Lady Dimitrescu, I think this is that... Wait, what, what did they say her name is? Mother Miranda. I'm thinking this. Actually, hold on. That was a much better... That is a... That's a pretty... Demo starts the 30th. Does it? On Steam? The the thing said, uh... I thought the thing said, uh... May 1st. At 8pm. I, I could've- I could've just misread the thing. Cause I- I looked at it through the- the live stream. That- rather than the, uh... Says 30th? Okay. Um... I'll keep that in mind. Actually, here. Let me- I have a- I have a fucking note thing written down that just says, May 1st, 8pm, RE8 demo stream. Do that! <laughs> Is it is it the first? Hold on, I'm holding on. Is it is it the first? I I need my I need my information to be solid, damn it. Oh the download period. Okay. Um but yeah, anyway. I'm gonna guess this is M Mother Miranda that they're talking about. And you know, obviously I I feel like May second to May third. Oh, okay. Got you. Got you, got you. Um but I feel like there's going to be some kind of weird, what do you even call it? Like clan war in this almost between obviously whatever is supposed to be vampires like Lady Dimitrescu and whoever all these fucking people are and and werewolves. I I kind of thought this guy would be a werewolf, but obviously he must be some kind of vampire 
or I, i'm saying i'm saying this i'm saying vampires and werewolves like take it really loosely because they're not actually vampires and werewolves they're just like it's just kind of vampires and werewolves because it's resident evil st it, this is still resident evil it's some kind of weird virus going around but i think that i think it's just easier to refer to them as you know vampires and werewolves infinite melee rewards what tomorrow we're all what hold the fuck on i didn't even take a look at this um those are like people oh wait what are they like industrializing wait are hold on let me formulate this into words are they are they building a factory to infect people is that what i'm seeing here what the fuck is going on here i feel like this is gonna be the i, th I feel like this is gonna be the uh what do you call it? Like the the lab <laughs> section of the game. You killed Mia. Now do me and finish the job. Finish the job. What the fuck does Ethan mean by finish the job? What the hell is what is, what is Chris's job here? I, I I feel like is Stars disbanded at this point? I feel like Stars like is no longer a thing. And it's it's like isn't it like Neo Umbrella? Or, or something. This isn't an actual job. This is e Ethan being emotional. Are you sure? Because I, even if Chris is like far gone at this point, even if even if he's like just fucking, just fucking crazy, and whatever. Actually, no. Do you know what? Hold on. Do you know what makes me think this is an actual job? This fucking guy. Why, why the fuck would Chris have... Wait, hold on. Let me hear his voice. Stay the fuck down! No. Hold on. Okay, I... I don't think that's a character we know. I, for a second, I was like... Is, that's not Piers, is it? Because... Because Piers, like, is definitely dead. Like, the... <sighs> But is he though? Fuck! Is Piers dead? Is ah? Uh, like God. Is everything you know even real? Nothing is real in fucking Resident Evil. Everything is fucking dumb and uh, like nobody dies. No, nobody dies ever. <laughs> I think Ethan is involved in with a uh, blue, blue ribbon and Chris is doing something now. Very much doubt that he's hit on a whole other. F he's a hit on their whole family. If Umbrella wanted Ethan dead, he would be dead true actually wait i know Ooh, i know why chris would want uh would want mia dead because she was working with someone i forget who she was actually working with she was working with someone to keep uh the what's her face the, the little girl like under wraps yeah Ooh, that's interesting do you think do you think Ethan was involved too? Or do you think Ethan Arrival Pharma Company? <sighs> Cause I, I know the, the the places that uh Chris usually works for, they don't only like their their whole existence isn't just to like be a counter to fucking whatever Umbrella's doing. They're, they're is it the BSAA? I think it's the BSAA now. Uh, but they they go after like bioterrorism rather than just Umbrella. It'd be a shame if something happened to you now. That means he still needs Ethan for something. What the fuck would Chris need Ethan for? Information maybe? No, he he needs Ethan. <sighs> He wouldn't need, he wouldn't need, yeah, Ethan wouldn't know anything. I don't think, at least. I, I think how this is, I think Mia, Mia probably brought Ethan along on a trip and didn't expect it to get this intense. Because, because maybe it was like a covert thing and she's like, eh, I'll bring Ethan along. Ethan's probably, Ethan's probably gonna, it's probably gonna be fine, right? And she probably had, like, some business to do. 
and then Chris just fucking probably like kicks in the door and fucking like I don't know probably blows her head off and then and Ethan's just like what the fuck is going on I what cause cause when you hear him say you know like Chris Y wherever the fuck that is uh when when you hear him say fucking Chris Y he's like legitimately like what the fuck why <laughs> why did you kill her I'm not gonna lie Chris looks kind of he he, he looks old but he kind of looks sad like he didn't really want to kill Mia but at the same time I gotta say I'm surprised you made it this far you don't have backpacks it'd be a shame if something happened to you now he doesn't sound sad <laughs> yeah either something shady or he he or it's or he's just following orders Chris, Chris, like, as I know Chris, at, like, since, like, RE6, uh, was just like a, th this is how it has to be done, and we're doing it this way. Yeah, that's not an excuse, but he also, the dull box. oh boy, the, <sighs> Great. he's not in uniform. You killed Mia. That's that's a thing. I feel like whatever actually wait, hold on. Is there anything off this guy's uniform we can see? Uh I'm not seeing You know what? The one thing that that would give us what company he's working for is very conveniently hid behind this little thing so we don't know if chris is actually working for the bsaa anymore I'm unless no yeah we don't even know if chris is affiliated with the bsa anymore betcha blue umbrella maybe wes if it's wesker if fucking wesker is somehow still alive Okay, actually, JW, have you seen how Wesker was killed in RE5? I feel like that's somewhat important. Because he is fucking killed in RE5. Well, the the thing is, though, we don't see him die. Is it an soldier? But he is literally thrown into a fucking volcano and shot with a goddamn fucking rocket launcher. Sorry, two rocket launchers at the same time hold on actually yeah yeah he probably survives this <laughs> he's sitting in fucking lava we still didn't see him die though we still didn't fucking see him die <laughs> I fucking hate, I fucking hate that that's a possibility that they could bring fucking Wesker back. Uh, they, motherfucker. I mean, would they bring him back after all this time? 100%, yeah. He's like their most popular fucking villain ever. I, I, I doubt like anybody remembers fucking Irving or fucking Excelligione. <laughs> Actually, uh, JW, they kind of brought Wesker back in Revelations, but it wasn't Wesker Wesker, it was someone else named Wesker, who apparently- who happened to be family of we Wesker, and was also into the same shit that Wesker was into. <laughs> just happened to be- it just, you know, just co coincidentally. <laughs> he should make sense to anybody. Actually, now that I think about it, wh what the fuck happened to Jake Mueller? The, the, uh, Jake Mueller, uh, well, oh yeah, you haven't played RE6. RE6 is a main character in- or, sorry, Jake is a main character in RE6. RE6 <laughs> yeah, RE6 is RE7. a main character in RE7. Uh, Jake is a main character in RE6. Uh, who who goes off with Sherry because he has like antibodies for the specific virus in RE6 and we we don't know where the fuck he went he, he, he went off to some like random country 
and started being a nice guy and giving apples to kids or something. I don't know. That's what I got from the ending. <laughs> so what you're telling me is his story ends here. <laughs>